Hi, my name is Partha Sai. I'm an engineer at Ceratech, and in this video we'll be going over the synchronous modeling features in NX12, which is a great way to make changes to step files in parts and assemblies. To begin, I have imported a step file, and we'll use the synchronous features to make the head and cylinder uh, be rotated at an angle of 25 degree angles. To begin, the synchronous modeling features can be found in the Home tab under the Synchronous Modeling Feature Toolbar. When making a change using a synchronous feature, we need to make sure that the part is the working part, and this can be done by right-clicking on the part and selecting Make Part. I want to make this at a, rotate this at a 25 degree angle, so I'll select Move Face. And under Settings, I want to make sure that Use Face Finder, Select Coaxial, and Select Coplanar are selected. I'll, from the drop-down, make sure Feature Faces are selected, and select the head. Since this needs to be rotated at, around the x-axis, I'll select the x-axis for the vector. For the point, I'll select the midpoint and give it an angle of 25 degrees. Click Apply. Now to make the cylinder match with the angle of the head, I will make the cylinder the working part. Select Offset Region. Under single face, select the top of the face. Change the direction so it's going down. And give it a value of 23 millimeters. To make the cylinder match the angle of the back of the face, we'll select Replace Face. For the selected face, we will select the cylinder. And for the Replace Face, we'll make sure that entire assembly is selected from the drop down and we'll then click the back of the head. We can now see that both the head and the cylinder are at an angle of 25 degrees. If I want to make a change to the chamfer, I can make the cylinder the working part and under more, I can select resize chamfer. Selecting the chamfer, I could then give it an offset of 8 millimeters. Apply. And we can see that this chamfer changed from 3 millimeters to 8 millimeters. There's also delete face in which I could use that to delete the holes of the head. So if we make the head the working part and select delete face, we need to make sure that under hole size it is in the range of the hole of the part and in the drop down we want to make sure hole is selected. Selecting one hole will select all the holes and we could then click apply and the head is now the holes from the head are now deleted. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped learning more about the synchronous modeling features in NX12.